having received the first of its F-35B Lighting fifth-generation fighters in 2018, Britain's armed forces are set to field three squadrons of the new combat jets alongside three squadrons of the older Eurofighter Typhoon, while retiring the same number of squadrons of aging tornado-swept wing attack jets from 2019. While US variants of the F-35 are named Lightning II, British variants have been termed Lightning, a thematic title alongside the Typhoon and upcoming Tempest jets. Contrasting the capabilities of the F-35B and the Eurofighter, two very different platforms which are in many ways highly complementary, gives invaluable insight into the aerial warfare capabilities Britain's armed forces will field in the coming decades. Though entering service just 11 years after the Eurofighter Typhoon, the F-35B benefits from the far more sophisticated military aviation technologies of the United States relative to those of Europe, which is strongly reflected in its advanced radar-evading stealth airframe, its next-generation Pratt & Whitney F-135 afterburning turbofan and its cutting-edge sensors from the Northrop Grumman in APG-81 AESA radar to the in. AAQ-37 distributed aperture system, all considerably superior to their counterparts on the Eurofighter. The F-135 in particular, putting out up to 191 kN of thrust, is matched in its capabilities only by the F-22's F-119 and the Chinese J-20's WS-15, and is above and beyond the capabilities of the Eurofighter's Eurojet EJ-200 afterburning turbofan, which puts own just 90 kN, 53% less. While entering service in 2003, the EJ-200 is comparable and in some ways inferior to American engines of the fourth generation which began to enter service three decades prior in the 1970s such as the F-100 which powers the F-15 and F-16 which entered service in 1976 and 1978 respectively. The benefits of access to US technologies, which in many fields several decades ahead of the European counterparts, cannot therefore be overstated. In terms of munitions the Eurofighter and F-35 are essentially equal in that the former, unlike its French counterpart the Dassault Rafale, was developed to deploy advanced US-made munitions such as the AIM-120 ARAAM long-range air-to-air missile. The fact that Britain's F-35B jets are also integrating indigenous AIM-132 short-ranged air-to-air missile, a platform also deployed by British Eurofighters, means that the armament of the two fighter jets will be essentially identical. Both aircraft are slated to gain compatibility with the AIM-120D, which with a 180 km engagement range will provide an excellent complement to their advanced long-range sensors, though given the missile's considerable cost, deployments on new F-35 jets are likely to be prioritized over the Eurofighters. The AIM-120D is currently reserved exclusively for deployment by the US Air Force's F-22 Raptors and has yet to be integrated onto the lighter F-35 or fourth-generation designs such as the Eurofighter. Both aircraft are also expected to deploy the European Meteor for long-range air-to-air engagements, a platform already integrated onto the Eurofighter with the same Mach 4 speed as the AIM-120 but a longer engagement range estimated at over 200 km. Despite the similarity of their armaments, one considerable advantage the European jet retains is its far larger payload, as while the F-35B will deploy for the majority of combat operations in stealth configuration which limits its carriage to, to just four missiles the Eurofighter can carry up to 12, often a combination of six bombs and six missiles. This considerable firepower advantage somewhat compensates for other shortcomings in the Eurofighter's capabilities relative to the F-35. Though the F-35 is the more sophisticated of the two fighters, the only Western fifth-generation fighter currently in production, the Eurofighter's airframe outperforms it in a number of key areas. While the F-35 is the slowest modern fighter jet in the world, restricted to speeds of little over Mach 1.6, the Eurofighter can reach a respectable speed of Mach 2 which while falling behind that of modern Russian and Chinese twin-engine combat jets or heavier American platforms such as the F-15, is still above average for a Western fighter surpassing the US Navy's F-18 Hornets and France's Rafales. The Eurofighter also retains a considerably longer range of little under 3,000 km, where the F-35B is restricted to under 2,000 km. One key advantage the Eurofighter also retains is its higher operational altitude, which at approximately 20 km is a match for advanced air superiority fighters such as the F-15 and Russia Su-30. The F-35 by contrast is restricted to altitudes of under 16 km, putting it at a distinct disadvantage in air-to-air -air engagements against higher flying platforms. 
Though the Eurofighter's engines are less sophisticated, the fighter's considerably lighter weight combined with its twin engine configuration means that its thrust-weight ratio is extremely high at 1.15. This combined with its air-to-air -air combat-oriented design, where the F-35 was conceptualized primarily for a strike role, and the lower G-force endurance of the F-35B variant's airframe in particular at just 7 grams compared to the Eurofighter's 9 grams, gives the twin-engine jet far superior maneuverability. The ability to maneuver makes a considerable contribution to the Eurofighters both during dogfighting and against beyond visual range missile attacks. Ultimately the F-35B and the Eurofighter are both highly capable middle-range fighter jets with complementary capabilities which make each an invaluable asset to Britain's armed forces. The more sophisticated F-35B ultimately appears better suited to a strike role with some defensive air-to-air -air capabilities, while the Eurofighter, though not as specialized or capable in air-to-air -air combat as jets such as the F-15 or J-20, is nevertheless oriented slightly more towards engaging hostile aircraft. The European jet does appear more balanced than the F-35 however, with the latter compromising heavily on traditionally valued capabilities such as speed, altitude, payload, climb rate and maneuverability where the Eurofighter's performance ranges from mediocre to excellent. A major strength of the Eurofighter relative to the F-35 is its lack of over-reliance on stealth, with the F-35B's survivability being rather poor if its stealth capabilities and electronic warfare systems can be overcome due to limitations on its flight performance. While the Eurofighter is more costly than the F-35A used by the United States Air Force, though still cheaper to maintain, the high maintenance and vertical landing capable F-35B costs approximately 50% more than the conventional variant which puts it price above the European jet. With the F-35B not expected to enter large-scale production, with only four prospective export clients and limited use within the US military itself, this price is unlikely to come down considerably. Both the Eurofighter and the Lightning appear to have a promising future with the British Armed Forces, which would be considerably less formidable if it relied on either one without the other serving in a complementary role alongside it. A combination of the two jets, taking advantage of the capabilities of each, gives Britain's fighter fleet a high combat potential against all manner of adversaries.